Ida. The 11 o'clock advisory just coming in just a few minutes ago. Sustained winds at 80 miles an hour. That track still takes it inland over Louisiana as we get you into the overnight hours Sunday, Saturday night into Sunday morning and potentially by 11 a.m. as a category three. So some intensity changes have happened within the last run here for the forecast from the National Hurricane Center. You can see it turning to the north and east and this turn is also going to bring in flash flooding all the way up through Tennessee. Of course, a storm surge for a category three or four is devastating for some of the areas there along the coast, anywhere from Mississippi back west into Lake Charles, Louisiana. We're concerned for the possibility of wind and rain spreading in along with that storm surge. So we're looking at flooding and flash flooding concerns. Folks are evacuating right now and you know, we just don't have enough time at this point as it is continued to intensify and we may see some more jumps back to a category four at landfall. So that was a change from the last advisory. It is down just a little bit. You can see it tracking in by Tuesday afternoon. It's over Tennessee, causing concerns for wind and rain there. It moves east. We pick up a little bit of that shower and thunderstorm activity and possibly get in some gusty winds, but it doesn't look like we have a huge impact across parts of the tribe. And you can see that turn here as it makes its way into the central Gulf. We'll see that pick up all the way over New Orleans, impacting folks there to the east. The north and eastern quadrant tends to be the worst often with the winds and the isolated tornadoes that can develop. We've got those hurricane warnings in the reds there and all the way with inland concerns for tropical storm activity after that. You'll see it downgraded to tropical storm and then we've got even more warnings that are just coming up now for folks even farther north through parts of Arkansas and as we get into northern Tennessee. So the impacts here look to be far, fairly minimal. This is good news. Remnants bring midweek rain for us and we need the drop in temperature, so we'll welcome that. But how much rain still looks to be uh, a question for us. We've got the showers and thunderstorms, at least on our European model, suggesting we will get more of that energy spinning in by late Wednesday night into Thursday. And that could keep us in a rainy pattern for a couple of days, but off and on. And temperatures should be down into the 80s, so that's a good news after a day of 90s. We made it to 90 degrees again in parts of Greensboro. Ridge of high pressure is overhead. So this is one of the steering currents that's helping to keep that hurricane away from Florida right now. On the western edges of that, you've got that clockwise flow, and here at the surface and aloft. We've got that ridge that's not only producing the heat, but helping to steer yeah, Ida away from us. So live radar showing you dry conditions after we had some evening showers and storms up over the Blue Ridge. 73 right now in Burlington, 76 in Greensboro and highs, as we mentioned, just about above normal at 86 earlier today is what we'd expect. We're in the 90s hour by hour, just a few pop up showers and storms. And for now, we are looking forward to seeing those temperatures take a big drop in temperatures uh, or drop it down, I should say, finally from the 90s. Tomorrow, though, 94, we're going to feel a little bit more, unfortunately, like the upper 90s to near 100. A rain chance of 20% just for a couple of hours. You might see a stray storm, very limited. Foothills, your rain chance is a little bit better by around 3 o'clock. Your highs near 93. And in the mountains, we've got areas of fog. We have humidity, a concern, too, there for you with highs in the upper 80s and a rain chance of 30%. So get ready for a very busy weekend when it comes to Idaho. We'll be tracking that along the Louisiana coastline for here. Sunscreen hats and definitely keep it in mind that we've got 80s through middle of next week. Looking forward to